molestar, the Spanish word for bother. Good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. We just took a three hour bus ride to Concepcion, and I think our goal today is to not get in trouble by the wives, but um, we'll see what happens. You know, I've got the drone in the backpack, and we're supposed to get back as soon as possible with the rental car. So, we'll see what happens. So we made it to the airport, and for all of my pilot friends, where are you? It would have been so much faster and so much more cool. But anyways, apparently there's a car rental place here that's a lot cheaper. It's about half the price as going to Linares to rent a car. So we came all the way here to rent a car, and uh, we don't know exactly where it is, but apparently there's a rental place here. Oh, this is an adventure. Apparently. <laughs> All right, so if anybody asks, just make sure you don't tell Elise or Aaron or Abe or Moses that, well, John and I came to Tome, and we're gonna go try and find something to eat. We're just really hungry, that's all. I'm not gonna do anything with the drone. Just, you know, don't mention it. And if uh, Elise, Aaron, Moses, or Abe ask, we did not go to a bar to eat or do nope. anything at all. We're just here looking at the view outside. No big deal. No big, just don't tell anybody. All right, so just to prove that we are actually eating, it's John's first time eating pastel de jaiba. So, go ahead, give it a shot. Let's see what he thinks. Might be a little hot. That's great. That's delicious. I need you all up now. Let's dive in. Tasty meal. So I've got to say that Tomei is really, really beautiful. I've never been here before, but I feel like I need to bring Elise and Moses back here, maybe stay a night and play on the beach. The beach is so different. Usually you have the volcanic ash or the darker sand, and here it's the really light sand that you might see in an island or Mexico or something like that, northern parts of Chile. But here it's just, it's a lot more calm. There's still a lot of wind, but very calm. And there are these big skyscraper buildings up here. And we're looking and staying here is maybe $50 a night or something like that for a place for five, six people. So I feel like we've got to come back here. Also, the food was delicious. And we're not flying a drone. See, we are eating. Like, all we do is eat. That's all we're doing. A little empanada action. This is John, your first real empanada. That's right. We had one, as you guys saw in the Terminal in Santiago, but that doesn't count empanadas from doggies. These are the real ones. So good. Can't wait. But we've got to get back to Elise, Aaron, Moses, and Abe. So, 
Well, maybe no more pit stops because we shouldn't be hungry anymore, right? Oh, well, hopefully not. Hmm. All right, so another stop that you cannot tell our wives about. But we're in Xi'an right now, and every time that you pass through Xi'an, you have to get longanisa. So, John, do you remember longanisa? Yes, delicious. So, what was that word that you said about it? Undu. <laughs> <laughs> the German words for undu. That's what it is? Yep. And our next stop. I feel like the girls are going to be happy with this one, though. All fruit. You've got blackberries, strawberries, blueberries, uh, cherries. What else did we get? <laughs> I think that's, oh yeah, strawberries. That pretty much summarizes it. Mmm, delicious. Look at all this. This is straight up fruit. 10,000 pesos. Worth every penny. 100%. But I think that John's wife, Erin, only came here to Chile to eat the bread. She's watched all of my videos and, well, I'm back here again. And how can you have any longaniso without bread anyways? But she loves it, just like I love it. I think she loves it 10 times more. So, off to get some pan francés or marraqueta bread. That's our favorite, so good. Okay, so we got bread, we got ice cream, we got fruit, we got longaniso, and I got some chicken for dinner. How are you guys feeling? I'm hungry. Are you guys mad at us? Very mad. <laughs> okay, they're not mad at us at all. But we did have a whole lot of fun. John and I got to hang out. I had this idea because a long time ago, my uncle and my dad went out to go and get ice. And I've never heard the end of it because it took them three hours to go and get ice after going to the bar and things like that. It, it took them a while. So it was fun to have John here hang out with him, going to uh, get some longanisa, going to get some fruit and hanging out on the beach a little bit and having some lunch. So really, really fun day. Thanks for coming along with us. We're going to enjoy an asado and uh, hang out. So we'll see you guys next time. But for now. Ciao, peace, cow. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao Pisco!